Hi everyone, this is Raju Mathu. Today I am going to show you a trick to move any object along with your fingertips on a screen using Corona. So for that let's create a new file and let me save it. On desktop I have already created a folder and under this let me save it. So that must be a main.lua file which is by default the landing page or landing page of the any application use made with corona so now let me define a background for this for my screen so i'm defining background so for that I need to define a local variable so my board background and for to make the background I will use the rectangle so for that display dot new rectangle and need to define the coordinates for the rectangle so I will start with zero coordinates and let me define the width and height of the that rectangle which will be the background so for that display I will take the whole width of the screen so display dot To get the whole width, I need to mention the content width, and similarly for the height, it will be display and the content height. That's it. Now, let me add the background color for my background so for that my background and set field color which will add the color to the current rectangle so randomly I am using the color so let me make it white so this is the RGB format for defining any color that's it let me check it first on my simulator to check it let me open the corona simulator and i'm opening my main.lua file here so here you can see that the background comes over the screen with a white color now now suppose i want to move any object here within this background within over this rectangle so let me create a circle which will move which i will move along with uh, my fingertips or my touch so wherever i will move my touch it will move along with my finger or with my touch so for that let me create a circle first so let's have a local variable my circle object so to define a circle corona provides an api that is display dot new circle where we need to define the center coordinates and center of the center coordinates for the circle so let it be 200 from x axis into x axis and in 200 in y axis and need to define the radius so for the time let it define with 50 so that's it now 
to make it much more clear let's add some stroke over this circle so to define a stroke to my circle object we need to define first the stroke width so to define the stroke width this is the parameter um, properties that is stroke width and we need to define the its width here suppose 5 that's it now I'm going to define the stroke color so in which color the stroke will appear so that is basically appears on the edge of the circle so for that let me set stroke color so this is the function which will accept the color name to define the stroke color so, so I am randomly I am giving the color name you can give as you like any color for that now let me check it on the screen let me run it again so here you can see that it comes here so to distinguish between the background and the circle let's define the background color for this circle so in order to give the circle color there is a property called set fill color which will fill the color over the display object so for that I'm giving it as so this is also a random color that I'm choosing randomly now I'm going to save it and let's check it on the simulator okay it should be that colon here now if I run it on the simulator so here you can see that the circle comes with the color brown and the stroke color with some gray color <coughs> So now we need to move this circle along with my fingertip on this board. So we need to write an event against the my background so that whenever I touch my background and I move my finger on the on this board, the circle should follow my fingertip. So for that let's first create the listener. So now I am creating a function and I am giving it the name move my circle and I am passing a parameter repent which will exactly catch that uh, will help us to get the coordinates of the touch point so that it will follow I can follow the the circle can follow my fingertips so to set the to move the circle we need to define we need to extract the x coordinate and y coordinates of the circle and we need to change the coordinate x and y position of that circle dynamically randomly no, dynamically so for that let's call this circle object and change its x and y coordinates so I am doing it on a single line now let's add the current position current x position of my touch so that it will change the current position to my to the circle position the circle x position so event dot x will give the current x position and similarly event dot y will give the y coordinates of the my current position now I need to bind this with my board so for that let's call the board object 
and uh, find an admin listener and need to pass the event type where for the current scenario it will be the touch and the listener name that is the function that will call while the touch gets triggered so this must now let's check it on the simulator i'm going to run it again so now here if i here you can see that i have touched the screen and wherever i move my finger fingertips it moves it follows the the circle follows me so here it is so as per your requirement you can change you can add some more functionality with that to get your job done so after this for today thanks